Now that Google Photos no longer offers free and limited storage to all users for your images and videos, you might be on the lookout for an alternative. After trialing a number of options, here is our short list of the best free Google Photos alternatives, but be warned, there are some caveats. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we delve in properly though, it has to be said that the biggest downside is that if you're hoping for an alternative to Google Photos that offers anything close to the seamless experience without any sort of cost, then you're going to have to prepare to have your expectations tempered. We've been spoiled simply just by how good Google Photos is. In reality, it probably couldn't have stayed free forever. A simple solution to your problem is just bite the bullet and opt for the 100 gigabyte Google One plan and ensure that you don't have to switch and then have some problems. Google Photos offers some neat benefits, including smartphone backups and even some perks from time to time, like a free Nest Mini or even a YouTube premium subscription. If you don't want to part with any cash, then we've done our very best to find some alternate solutions. Be warned though, the 15 gigabytes of free storage that comes with the Google account still trumps many of these alternatives. And to get the most from these rival services, you might even need to hand over some money in much the same way as with the Google One service. The only outright replacement for Google Photos relies heavily on a yearly subscription. However, if you are already subscribed to Amazon Prime, then Amazon Photos is the way to go. In a similar vein to that of a Google One subscription plan, you're not just getting a place to store all of your photos. The perks of Amazon Prime are also a big reason that you might want to check this out if you haven't already done so. A major sore point is that while photo storage is technically unlimited, cloud storage for video is capped at 5GB. If you record at full HD resolution and above, you might run into some problems, which means that this Google Photos alternative is the best for people only wanting to store photos rather than mixed media. Should you end your Amazon Prime subscription, you'll also need to find an alternative place to store all of your media too. That said, all accounts can take advantage of 5GB of free storage, no matter their subscription status. A big bonus is that you can use the Amazon Photos app on your Android or iOS device automatically to back up your camera roll in much the same way as with the Google Photos app. It goes a step further by allowing you to connect your PC or Mac too, making it even easier to back things up to the cloud. Similarly, if you are a Windows 10 user, you might already use OneDrive. Every account gets 5GB of free storage right out of the gate. Sure, it's not exactly the greatest, but it's a way to back up and even transfer files between your devices without too much difficulty. 5GB isn't very much, we'll admit that, but it is a starting point and another option to choose from when you want to store some files on your smartphone. Being able to sync directly with Windows 10 thanks to the OS integration means Microsoft Service is a very good option that actually performs really well. Kudos to Microsoft on the quality of the OneDrive Android app too. It's slick, clean, and provides a sensible layout for your files with added features like an encrypted vault for any of your important files. The integration with other Microsoft Suite products is also another key reason that OneDrive does stack up well as a Google Photos alternative. Flickr's 1000 photo free storage tier doesn't sound like much compared to the original one terabyte of free storage that ended back in 2019. It might just be enough for sporadic photographers that want just a place to store their high resolution images though. The impressive sharing capabilities is one of the core reasons you might choose to store some of your best images on Flickr rather than Google Photos too. The company claims that around 97% of its users have less than 1000 photos stored on Flickr. A pro tier allows you to have unlimited storage for $60 per year, which is the outright best deal for hardcore photographers as Flickr does not place limits on image file size so you can store them at the highest resolution possible. Another option that like Amazon Prime might be useful if you already subscribe to the Adobe Creative Cloud or a specific application package. Make no mistake Adobe's cloud storage platform is very expensive if you do not use any of the extensive suite of applications as part of the Creative Cloud plan though. As just an alternative Google Photos option that you can access and haven't already tried or used your free 100GB cloud locker, it's a sizable allowance that is only available as part of the $52.99 per month plan that includes all Adobe software. That said, it is an alternative if you do already use Adobe packages and aren't taking advantage of that storage available. Dropbox was one of the very earliest free cloud storage options from way back in the early 2000s, and while it still has a place, 
the free account now feels very, very stingy with a two gigabyte cap. If you're not willing to spend any money, then Dropbox isn't necessarily a great competitor to Google Photos. That said, while a small allowance by 2021 standards, two gigabytes of free is still two gigabytes of space to slap a few hundred photos. The Dropbox app includes some neat features like a PDF and document scanner. Unfortunately, some features, including the password sync and password protected storage, requires a pro or premium account. For $9.99 per month, you do gain two terabytes of cloud storage and those aforementioned features. That's quite a substantial amount of online storage though for $120 per year. A slightly lesser known alternative to photos in with a sizable free storage option is that of Digo. 100 gigabytes is a very good allowance for all of your photo storage needs and it lets you sign in with your Google account, which is a nice bonus. The app isn't that great, but Digo offers unlimited file size uploads with no quality reduction. Here's a big bonus though, for every single friend you refer, you get an extra five gigabytes of free storage up to 500 gigabytes. A downside is that there are intermittent ads here and there, plus you're limited to three devices and your account can be closed after 90 days of inactivity, which might be enough of a compromise for people wanting an extra free photo and file storage option. 500 gigabytes of monthly storage is cheap at just $2.99 per month. That paltry pricing removes ads, increases referral bonuses to 10 gigabytes per friend who joins up to 1000 gigabytes and ends the 90 day login requirement. Regardless of your thoughts on the people behind Mega, the fact is that it usurps the free storage with a Google account by five gigabytes. 20 gigabytes of free storage is available to all users, but there is some other features that simply don't exist on other Google Photos alternatives here too. An encrypted messenger is included with file sharing and collaboration tools available that might prove useful if a little out of place. Mega seems better suited to people wanting to just share their files with friends and colleagues, but it does provide plenty of space to store your Google Photos library of photos and videos. Terabox is an outside option for online storage and touts a frankly questionable one terabyte of free online storage for all of your photos and files. This does fire off some security concern areas in our minds, but the app may just be using this as a way to pick up Google Photos users looking for an alternative place to store their massive libraries. 1024 gigabytes of online space is likely going to be enough to keep people happy for a long, long time. While the storage allowance is fairly sizable, we wouldn't suggest putting sensitive files or important files on Terabox servers. The upload speeds are fine, but download speeds can be fairly slow and sometimes a little shaky. Even so, we didn't want to gloss over Terabox as it might provide people with a high volume free Google Photos alternative with some caveats. If you already have a hard drive laying around off plenty of space on your PC or laptop, well, you might want to kiss cloud storage goodbye and get back into local backups. In all honesty, this might be the best idea if you have thousands upon thousands of images and videos. The upside is that you can expand your storage at any point. The downside is that this comes with an associated cost. However, a four terabyte external drive can be picked up for under $100 and will provide more than enough space for thousands of high resolution images and even hundreds of 4K UHD video clips and files. The process is going to be a little bit slower and requires a PC or laptop for the transfer procedure, but provided you keep your drives offline, it's actually one of the safest ways to store all of your personal memories and files. So local storage might be the best option long term for many of you out there. On top of that, local hard drive storage only requires a one off payment rather than monthly fees, making it by far the cheapest and best bang for your buck alternative to Google Photos. That said, if you have any options that you've explored of your own, let us know the best Google Photos alternatives down in the comment section below. And as always, though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.